In this video, Cloud Solutions Group showcase a number of solutions that we have built for our customers using the Microsoft Power Platform. Cloud Solutions has recently completed a remote work app for an organisation of approximately 200 employees. The business wanted to implement a remote working policy and process so that all employees could request the hours they wanted to work remotely and wanted to work in the office moving forward. It was important that the process could be easily managed by line managers and department heads. HR and oh &S also needed to be able to oversee the process and report to the exec team as to the progress of the rollout. The employee accesses the app either on a mobile device or on a PC and completes their request by answering questions. You can see that the questions are a combination of those that requiring both text and yes and no answers. The next step is for the employee to enter the days and times that they will work in the office and work remotely each week. Here the employee is requesting to work remotely for Fridays. The app checks the total hours worked matches 38 hours or if the employee works part-time, their part-time hours. When the employee has completed their application, they submit and then agree to the declaration. The application has now changed to a pending status and the employee receives an email advising them that the application has been submitted. The line manager receives an email that advises them that a consultation with the employee is now required. When the line manager opens the app, he or she can see all the applications that require him or her to action. The manager needs to open the application and review. The manager can renegotiate, which will send the application back to the employee with comments or approve. You can see that this application no longer appears in the actions pending list on the app now that it has been approved. The department head and the HR are then required to review and approve the application as well. Once all approvals are granted, the employee is then advised via email that their application has been successful. Next, they need to complete an ergonomic assessment of their remote workspace. Again, the employee needs to answer questions about their remote working environment. This form has a number of yes-no questions and a few that have a choice option. The employee is required to take at least two photos of their remote workstation. Taking photos is made very easy using the app on a mobile device. The employee is required to agree to a declaration and then the application is submitted. The ergonomic assessment is again required to be approved by the line manager and then the work health and safety officer. Once both the work schedule and ergonomic assessment are approved, the line manager is asked to enter the effective start date and then the employee can update the calendar so that days working remotely are shown in their office calendar for other team members to view. A suite of reports were built as part of the solution the number of employees by department at each stage in the process, as well as a calendar report where anyone can see if another employee is working in the office or working remotely. HR can see how managers and employees are progressing through the process easily. Managers can also see details of their employees, those that have been approved, compared to those still to be approved, so they can make sure they have coverage in the office over the week. The solution has proven to be easy to use by employees and managers. It's a cost-effective solution that was rolled out to the business within eight weeks. Another project for Cloud Solutions Group was to assist Munro Footwear, who needed an automated solution for their 200 retail stores, such as Williams and Midas, to manage the pick and ship for their web order sales. Initially, the business was using a manual process with staff writing orders on sticky notes and then walking into the storeroom, finding stock and then using one system to print the consignment note and then a different terminal again to update the main stock management system. The overall time taken to ship the web orders was way too slow. For Munro, this was the first time using Power Apps, so we undertook an MVP approach for the app. A quick and cost-effective app was developed. 
The app enables the retail store person to take the store iPad into the storeroom to pick the stock. The store person then takes a photo of the shoes, confirms the order and then the app automatically connects into the consignment system to print the consignment note using SharePoint to connect the app to the printer in the store. The app itself connects into a SQL Server database and this database links to the supply chain management systems of the business. So all systems are updated in real time. The app can also manage rejections from the store. For example, if stock is not suitable for web sales, the user can check new orders, rejected orders or shipped orders using the tabs. The store can also look up any orders from the last 72 hours on the app. The app was piloted at a couple of retail stores initially and then rolled out to more stores. One of the benefits of the app was that the training to the retail staff only took 10 minutes. The success of the MVP version of the app has resulted in the business investing more funds to improve the app. The app is built into a solution which allows for good application lifecycle management when moving from dev to test and prod. Using a combination of SharePoint Online and Power Apps, Cloud Solutions Group built an updated and more efficient document management system for the CERTIS security organisation. The solution allows users to view and download documents as required. Users can scroll down and use the tiles or use the action menu on the left to find the documents they need. The solution utilises Active Directory to manage security groups which enables users to access specific document folders. To submit a new document for approval, the user is required to complete the form entering all required fields. It was important that the new system be more intuitive for users and managers. The user needs to upload the document after creating the document using standard templates available. The user is advised via email that the document has been submitted and the admin approver receives an email asking them to review the document. The admin approver clicks on the link in the email and reviews the document. They can click on open document here. They can amend a couple of fields if needed. They can also enter any comments. They are required to answer the questions and then approve or reject. The head of department then receives an email requesting their review. They can either review themselves or delegate to someone else in their team that may be better to review and approve that particular document. Once approved by the head of department, the footer of the document is automatically updated with the document name, document number, version number and date of approval and published into the document library. The user is advised by email that the document has now been published. The user follows a similar process if a document is required to be replaced or made obsolete. The previous version is moved to a different folder with only the current version of the document available in the document library. The solution tightly manages version control and recording of dates and approvals for each document as an audit requirement. Documents are due for review within one year and the app sends email reminders to users and department heads that the review of a document is required. At 30, 14, 7 days and on the due date of the review. If a document is overdue for review, it is highlighted as read in the document library. A fortnightly report is emailed to users advising of ads and changes to their folders. Cloud Solutions Group has developed a simple expense claim app that enables employees to submit expense claims using their mobile phone. The first step is to create an expense report where you enter dates, give the report a name and then choose the approver required. Now you add line items to the claim, choosing an expense category, providing details about the expense, the total cost and then take a photo of your receipt. When you have completed adding all the lines required, you submit your expense claim. Your manager will receive an email showing that there is an expense claim requiring their approval. The manager can click on the email which takes them to the app 
to approve the expenses. The finance team is then advised that there is an expense claim ready for them to pay. Emails are sent to the employee when the expense claim is submitted, when it is approved and also when it is paid. Employees can also check the status of the expense claim using the tabs within the app. Reports are then available for the finance team to use to manage the claims. Cloud Solutions Group customised this app for a legal firm and added specific expense types that their business needed, such as matter code and description for billing, as well as specific FBT information for entertainment costs. Cloud Solutions Group recently worked with an investment business to combine data from a number of disparate systems into Power BI. Accessing one of the system databases directly via Power BI and then adding data from another system using a CSV report, Cloud Solutions Group was able to provide the business with a combined view of revenue across all branches as well as all advisors. This was a huge benefit to the business as they were unable to analyse this data effectively before using Power BI. The information was available to see how advisors' revenue compared year on year, as well as to see how many clients were producing their total revenues for each period. They were able to see if the advisors were working their entire client database or relying on just a few clients to generate their regular revenue. A daily dashboard was also created that could replace the function of manually creating this report in Excel every day. Revenue categories are shown on the report against budget for the period selected, the month and the fiscal year.